lot of the people that come see you are and and listen to your music, it's the crowd that likes um, heavy music, generally uh, socially aware, not necessarily message oriented or anything like that, but that has uh, insight into those songs as well as into the lyrics, and that does stay out of the mainstream. That seems to be really important that, you know, maybe you make it on college radio or stuff like that, but that you don't have like a, a top 40 hit on, a, you know, an AOR station or anything like that. Is that how you see yourselves as well? I don't, I don't know if it's actually a conscious effort. I just think that there's just a place where we come from and what we, what we understand as being art and something that has substance to us that doesn't fit into that scheme so i don't think that that'll ever be a problem for us or it's, it's not even a consideration you know trying to stay away from it we just it just won't happen because it's just not what we're at it's not what we are it, it, i mean it could but if it did it would be more by accident and we play the music that we feel like playing you know and that's pretty much where we stand that's why we do it Are you serious about any any issues as a band? Is there anything that's... Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of political issues that we're serious about. We all have our separate personal, views about that. You know, personal right? politics, so which in turn yeah. make social politics. You know? What about censorship? That's the one video that we've oh, we played. we believe in that. Oh, sure. We've given up. Everything should be censored. As you can see here, I've been censored. <laughs> <laughs> we got our anti-censorship video censored, so... So, give it up. Well, yeah. You can't win. On much yeah. music. Huh? We, we played it all the time. See, people are free in Canada. Yeah, but were we but naked or did we have parental guidance stickers over our items? We, we thought it was very, very okay. smart. We thought that was very <laughs> cute, very funny. They fell for it? All right. Direct, direct experiences or is it just anger about life in general? I think it's a combination. I think it's a combination of things. Um, sometimes I think in people's in growing experiences, they tend to to catch light of something that maybe the people around them didn't didn't get to to understand. And in some cases, I think that kind of understanding, rather than it helping a person, ends up hindering them in the face of everyday realities and, and procedures and stuff. Just ends up being a burden, you know, like the kid growing up too fast. Just ends up kind of messing them up a little bit. I'm not saying that they shouldn't have those experiences. I just think that they should be dealt with better. I don't know. I find the videos in some ways really grotesque and um which i guess is one thing which is what you probably want a little bit of that reaction um i'm not really sure if it's a matter of reaction really i think that they're just they're just images that we've come to be comfortable with you know the balances of images i think a lot of people who have been sheltered all their lives and ignored realities tend to uh, not really understand the ugly sides of nature as being necessary and, and present. And uh, I think it's unfortunate. I think, they're, I think they're essential elements to grow. It's been sort of said about you punch on for real horrific images, and yet you're these really nice, normal guys who love pets. But why do you have such a, a punch on for horrific album covers, you know, dark, uh, bizarre videos? I think uh, most of us grew up in a pretty sterile environment. A lot of that stuff just wasn't around. It's all pretty much peaches and cream, you know, flowers. Everything's nice. Ignore all the bad stuff. And uh, it's just, the world's just not like that. And I think that the sooner people get to the point where they realize that the ugly stuff is just as important as the beautiful stuff, it goes hand in hand. I think that we can get on with evolving. Do you find a beauty in horrific images? Yeah, yeah, definitely. How so? It's just there, you know? It's a part of reality, it's a part of life. Birth, death, light, dark, it's just, it's just there. What Beauty. about your new uh, video, Prison Sex? That one has some pretty dark imagery. I, I believe it's all metaphoric uh, for uh, child abuse. Sexual child abuse. Sexual child abuse. 
Uh, why did you guys write that song? Why did you make a video about it? Um, it was well. Generally, we write, you know, music. The music comes first, and then the uh, the ideas come afterwards. And the reason the ideas come afterwards is because the music ends up kind of tapping into something way down deep inside that hasn't been addressed yet or needs to be addressed. And that song was written out of need. So that's the video. I think there may be some question about prison sex because some of the uh, images are disturbing even though it's an animated video. Uh, what would you say to people who may question it? They have some soul searching to do. Do you if it's, think if it's some people have found it really disturbing and I've had a few friends that have found out that there have been some memories that they've repressed that they didn't remember for a long time and there's some issues that they needed to address before they come out the wrong way I think sometimes people repress those childhood memories to the point where they come out later in, in really ugly ways um, they pretty much dictate a lot of people's behavior the way they deal with people on an everyday basis their job situations you know everything it just dictates their actions and unless they can get a handle on what those memories were and work around them and work with them I don't think that uh, they can really lead normal functioning lives do you think it's a video suitable for uh, a music channel that kids should be watching it you know there's a lot of videos on there that I think are far more offensive like what what do you find offensive for example uh, the Robert Palmer girls you know, I think that's I think that's out of control. You know, the a lot of the gangster rap videos, although they're saying a lot, they still are treating women like, you know, dog meat. And I think that's way more disturbing than our video.